Hi, welcome to Design and M. This is Prashant here. Today we are going to see how to install Craft CMS on your web server. To get started, let's go to craftcms.com and scroll all the way down and go to documentation. Click on Craft CMS and over here go to installation. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will be using Composer to install Craft CMS on your server. So please ensure Composer is installed on your web server. We will be using an SQL database and also you should have remote SSH access to your database. You should have a username and a password to access your database. So let's get started. So in this tutorial, we will be installing Craft CMS on my website designandm.com. As you can see right now, there are no files in this directory and hence I can't see anything over here. I can quickly check my file manager as well and you can see I am in the root of my designandm.com and there are no folders over here. Even there are no public HTML folders. So to begin with, I will access my server through SSH through my terminal. So now I am in the root folder of my server and as you can see my folder is currently empty and I, did, I don't even have the public HTML folder. The first step over here is to install Craft CMS in my existing directory. So let's do that. To do that, let's come back to craftcms.com and over here let's copy this command composer create project Craft CMS craft this is where the files are and this is your project path where the files needs to be installed copy this come back to your terminal and instead of the default path since i am already in the directory where i want to install i just type in period my composer version is 1.9 which is good to go in a while all the files will be copied from the craft server to your existing directory just a quick note over here you need to contact your hosting provider uh, to ensure that composer is installed in your server The installation of the files to your server might take a while, so have a little patience. So as you can see now, Craft CMS has been installed into your server. Let's go and check if the files are there in the server. So this was the previous case when there was no files on my server on designandm.com. Let me refresh this page and now you can see all the files have been copied over here. One particular directory which is more important for us is web. If you are using a shared hosting service provider, this particular folder should be renamed to public underscore html. You can rename it using the UI over here. I prefer to rename it using the commands. So these are the folders that are existing currently on your server. So I need to rename my web folder to public underscore HTML. Now if I see, you can see that it's renamed. To continue, as I said before, we need a database. And if you go to the Craft CMS documentation, you can see that we can use two types of database over here. So we can either use a MySQL, which is more than 5.5 version, or a Postgres SQL, which is more than 9.5. I'll be using MySQL. The default collation would be UTF-8 Unicode CI. So let's go ahead and create a database. So let me call my database design and m i'll keep the same username password pretty plain password over here let me copy this for safekeeping yep and create so i have created my database over here but craft says that i must use 
UTF-8 Unicode CI. So you might have created the database using your existing service provider. And to change the collation, I need to go to PHP admin. So as you can see over here, my database is selected. Let me go to operations and over here, I can change my collation. So let me change it to UTF-8 Unicode CI and then click on go. So now your database collation has been changed to UTF Unicode CI. So once the collation has been changed, ensure that you have the remote access through SSH for your database. This can be done through the UI of your hosting service provider. In my case, it's Hostinger. So I'll go to my database, click on remote MySQL and select my database. For this case, I grant to any host and I say create. So now let's come back to the Craft CMS documentation. Craft CMS provides you two ways for Craft's setup visual. You can either do it from your terminal or your web browser. In my case, I would prefer to go ahead doing it through my web browser. To proceed ahead installing it through my web browser, I will copy the following path. Go to Safari and type in my website name followed by the path. So if all the files have been installed, you should get this page, install craft. Click on install craft. Got it. And to go further, you must know these details from your hosting provider, the server and the port that they are using. You can keep the prefix empty or you can fill it up. It's your choice. And once you have entered all the details, click on next. So create the username, give your email ID, give the password, and click on next. So give the name of your site, give the base URL where you want to access your website and click on finish up. So now Craft CMS on your site is installed and ready to go.